You are too weak. You are too small. You don't belong here. This is not how a good Iranian woman behaves. You are a disgrace. I grew up in Tehran, Iran. I was always an athletic kid. I always loved martial arts, but my parents never allowed martial arts because it wasn't right for girls. The culture is very conservative. Most parents in Iran think that for a woman to have a better life, they have to go to university and study and find a job. When I turned 18, I went to work, and then with my first paycheck, I signed up for a kickboxing class. The first session, I was like, okay, so how do you fight? How do I learn how to fight? Uh, and then people said, you've got to get a male instructor because uh, women don't teach fighting, only men do. So that's when I uh, found Ali. I uh, looked around, I searched, I asked people around and they said he's the best coach in Iran. I contacted him and he hung up on me. <laughs> he said he doesn't train girls. The first time I hit one of Ali's bags in his class, I bruised my legs so bad and then he made us go 500 kicks on the bruised leg and I swear that I couldn't take a shower. The water running on my shins would hurt. I was so weak, I couldn't even lift my arms after a session with him. It, I, then I realized how far off regular training is to fight training. Never ever I thought I should stop in training. I always thought that I should keep going. You just have to learn how to deal with it and be okay with being hurt. If it was easy, everybody would do it. I have to be better. I just have to be better to a point that nobody can stop me. Eventually, I made the Iranian national team. It was a great honor. I love Iran. It's my base. It's uh, where I'm from. It's my heart. But I feel like athletes can be treated better. There was always men first, then women. They would bring the woman to train with the lowest quality of space compared to the men. And then at the end of the day, they would suddenly decide that they don't like your attire and they just send you home after eight weeks. In 2014, I became a Canadian citizen, and that's when I wanted to switch teams. When your birth country doesn't agree with your switch, you can get suspended. They said it's treason, and they suspended me for two years. During my suspension, I was very angry. It's, it's so crushing. I was just on my prime years, I was just waiting around for my suspension to be over. So that's when it was so frustrating for me. But I put all of that energy into training. I was constantly exercising, constantly sparring, constantly, uh, you know, trying to up my game. I always want to prove people wrong. You have to be intense, and that intensity is, is what drives you to be the best version of yourself. I'm now with the national team of uh, Canada. I, I want people to, when they hear my story, know that they don't have to have a special circumstance. They can create their own opportunities. And as long as they put their hearts into it and put the work behind it, they can achieve it.